Hello, welcome back. So what I'd like to do is, uh, now that we've uh, created our uh, G-code for this, and as I reminded you in the last film, uh, G-code is very similar to the G-code you generate for uh, CNC machining. Um, once we've generated that G-code, we're now ready to export that as a, uh, using this button up here, as a S3G file. S3G file, as I reminded there, as I mentioned in the last film, is uh, the file format that the printer is able to recognize. You actually print out a part from that. So before we get to that, what I'd like to do is talk about some of the some of the background that goes into this. We have a user interface in here, and actually generated that G code here, which is hundreds of lines long, but it's uh, actually driven by Skyforge, which is something that's embedded into our replicated G program here, and it's something very similar into the Catalyst program for the dimension printers, and that's written on the the Python um, uh, script uh, program. So when you do uh, download the the replicator uh, G uh, program. You also need to download uh, uh, Python too in order to get this uh, complete uh, everything to run uh, correctly. So, in regard to the G code, you have a couple different tabs up here uh, off our user interface uh, to take a look at what we have. We have our model in here, which we can spin around, and this is the, the STL file, and not uh, necessarily the um, you know the G code. But if we want to look at the G code, which has now been generated, you can see that up here. So you can see some of the basic elements up here, which can be changed. Uh, the M files uh, here are like temperature. We have a, a platen temperature up here and our extruder temperature over here for 225 and the platen temperature at uh, 110 degrees Celsius. We can change some of these things. We can change some of the parameters in here in our G code if we knew what some of these elements were. And you know, you can probably guess at some of them. But after that, what you end up getting are slices. Every time uh, uh, at a, you know, four tenths of a millimeter resolution, which is the print resolution, and uh, in the MakerBot uh, printer, the replicator printer, uh, each one of those uh, lines, each one of those layers is uh, sliced up here, and this G-code tells uh, where the printer head is going to go and how it's going to get there. And that's what that uh, G-code is. So what we want to do is we want to export that now. So this will generate, as it says, uh, the S3G file, and we're going to put that onto our uh, uh, MakerBot uh, SD file, which is uh, plugged into a, an adapter which goes in my USB port in the front of my computer. So I already have a couple different elements in here. When I uh, put something into this uh, folder, I typically put a lot of items into the archive, things I've already printed and may not use uh, for a while, put them in there so to keep this list uh, relatively short. I already have handlebar in here, as I mentioned before, and also have handlebar-1, which you just put in here, but the handlebar one was the one that was horizontal. Handle, or the first handlebar was the one that's horizontal. Handlebar 1 is the one right now we're going to go ahead and overwrite and we're going to make that vertical. We're going to see the difference between those two in the lab. So after this you just simply press save look at this uh, status bar up here to see uh, the progress on things. It's turned yellow and you can see it's uh, quickly going through that. It's a lot quicker only a matter of seconds to do that. And now we're ready. So if we go to um, so if we go to that folder, go to the MakerBot folder and take a look at what's inside of that, it'll show you that. So we have our S3G files, we have our STL files, some of them in here, and these are the files that are going to be recognized by the printer. So it's going to be handlebar 1, SGSG, 3S3G, that's probably not right, but um, this is one we actually generated, so we're going to go ahead and change the file name on that just to make sure it doesn't get tripped up. And we're going to make that number two. So this is one, just remember that, handlebar-2 is the one we're going to be uh, printing out in the CAD lab. So, thank you for joining me. We will see you in class.